What is going on guys? DBG here and this is another episode of the No Money Spend Squad in NBA 2K21, my team. So lads, we're in good shape right here. We're in really good shape. So first of all, you guys saw earlier, we got a new card. Coming into the squad, we're Brian Scalabrini. He's Sean Marion. Yes, Sean Marion's coming in. Unfortunately, Sean Marion's not coming to start. He's coming in power forward. Because, well, we've grinded enough for Terry. I'm a big fan. Like, I do not dribble the ball at my small board. I'm just saying, telling you guys that right now. Like, I do not ever dribble the ball with my small forward. Like, he will not dribble the ball in a normal game. So, my whole thing with, um, with Wally Zerbiak is simply put, is that he's one of the best shooters in the game on next gen and he plays elite defense with half clamps he is there to hit wide open shots and he does a perfect job and then chicken man jameson like terry's still gonna be the main offensive option however however we did need we do need to swap a, swap someone at the point guard position our point guard position is a little bit struggling so the player that we bought we bought our first throwback moments card like yeah we've had um ursan Ilyasova there for um, Ruby, but we also bought the Ruby Smush Parker. So Ruby Smush Parker is not the greatest card in the world. He really is not. He's really not incredible. Not terrible, but he does not come with showtime. He does not come with range, which are quite big things. And he also gets, I think it's three buggers, if I'm not mistaken, from like 85 to 90. So to Evo up Smush Parker, you need 30 points and 10 assists in a single game. So basically we need 50 points. So that should not be too difficult. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna do that right now. We're going back to the spotlight challenges. Is there anyone else we have to Evo? Also actually, we've Evo up Kyle Anderson. Kyle Anderson might come into our team. I, this Kyle Anderson card is so, so good Evo. Like you don't understand how good Kyle Anderson is Evo. So, like, he, I can't even afford to put Kyle Anderson. I mean, he's been in the budget squad, but he's evo so now he's going to be... He's going to lose his spot when we do make the next budget squad video. But, like... Well, let me have a look what price Smush is. Like, Smush Parker... Is crazy. So, he's crazy, crazy good. So, Smush Parker... He would have been, like, 15k on him, I think. So, like, 17, 18k that I bought him. Like, he's more... Like, he's 20k. Hey, so much park is 20k. The guy's insane. The guy's absolutely insane. The fact is that you can probably buy the Amethyst for the same price as the Ruby. Like 22k for the Amethyst. You know what? I think I'm just going to do that. There's no one else I need to Evo, so... I'm just going to buy the Amethyst and sell the Ruby. And oh, we bought the Ruby one earlier. For like 17, 18k. So, send him to my auctions. Uh, let's see what we can get for Ruby Smush Parker. You paid like 22k for Amethyst Smush Parker. Like, again, it's probably, like, for the sake of one game and, like, seven or eight minutes, I probably should have just evoed up Smush Parker, honestly. I don't think there was much of a point, like, not evoing the guy up, really, at this stage, but I just want to see what price, because it was, like, just over 21 2k. Smush Parker. Like, I probably lost, like, actually, no, I probably lost, like, 3k in tax. That was not, it's like 20k I reckon for him. Okay, like 19,500. That was not smart by me, actually. Uh, he, I forgot tax the thing. I was like, I should have just evoed him. It took one game. That was just, that's just laziness. I thought it's just, I deserve to lose that 2, 3k MT. I deserve to lose that. Just out of sheer laziness of not wanting to evo the guy up. But like Smush Parker doesn't even, he doesn't make my, any of my limited teams in Ruby anyway. Like, my Ruby point, he's not as good at the point guard position as, like, Fultz is. Or he is not as good as Jack is. So, if we are doing Rubies there in the lineup. And that is why Kyle Anderson's in the Ox. Stay in the Ox. I need to sell a bunch of these cards. There's no point having them. The only cards I need in my Ox now are Kyle Anderson, one Brian Russell, one Jared Jack, and both of these Ronnie Brews. For limited. They're the only cards that need to be in this auction house. 
So we can go and sell some of these cards. Can we get some from Michael Porter Jr.? Because I know he was super, super cheap. And he seems to have gone up. Michael Porter Jr. is so nice. He's clamps away from being elite on current gen. And I mean, he's just elite in general on next gen. Like, there's a reason why you still see some, like, competitive people using Michael Porter Jr. in their squads. And, like, if you invest in a bunch of Michael Porter Juniors at 1k MT, like, if you invest in 50 of him at 1k MT, you're, uh, you're sitting pretty right now, then, with MT. Like, 50 in 1k is 50k MT. And you can get, like, 3.5k easily for him. Or 3.3k. He'll sell for 3.3k. But um, you can easily get like 3.3k for him. So that's like 3.3 times minus to like 300 in tax. So you're basically making triple your MT. You'd be sitting on 150k MT like three weeks later. But uh, yeah, that's um, again, not too bad. Because I think I'm pretty sure he was from a free pack. And we have a few free packs to open, thankfully. So obviously we got 96 packs right here. We have to open a bunch of these packs because we did get a lot of decent... Decent free packs along the way trying to get Sean Marion. We got these stupid badge packs that are just annoying me at this stage. Like I'm I think I'm just done selling badges unless it's like a range extender. I think I'm just gonna put the badges on the players. Like at this stage, I'm just I'm just so sick of badges. I'm just so sick, like lim or not limited. TTO has just like completely broke me in terms of badge packs in this game. Like there is nothing there is nothing I want less than a badge pack. Like when I when they first came out, we were all like, yeah, badge packs, badge packs. Let's go get our badge packs. And now I'm just like, there is literally nothing that is less appealing to me than a badge pack. Literally, literally nothing less appealing than a badge pack. Give me Thanasis Antetokounmpo any day over a badge pack. Because 90% of these badges are worth nothing. I only get one thing in a badge pack. We got, we got Thanasis in our reward pack. We played all those hours to get Thanasis in our reward pack. Five gold contracts, that's actually a really good pack. I shouldn't have opened that, but that's actually a re there Those five contract packs are great. Uh, stupid badge packs. Like, again, you do not understand my hatred for this one specific type of pack. I just never... Seeing a badge pack, pack flashback, flash up onto the screen is literally... It just brings back PTSD from the Terry grind. Like, I, thankfully, I got Terry. Like, it's only, it only seems to be splash left with no Terry. I, th I think almost everybody has got Terry that just that never gave up. Like a bunch of people that have given up at any stage haven't got Terry, but I think it's myself and Splash were kind of the last two that were like continuously going for Terry. And you know, Watchamon card is not the worst card in the world to get. Um, let's have it. Javon card is Treyberg base. Fun fact um, double take award. Come on. Come on. Let's see what we can get here. Give us something good. Give us some another Gary Payton. Oh, we have like two of him sitting in our auction house. He probably goes for this guy value. He's this guy for 800. He's that's a decent chunk of this guy value. Okay, how many gold contract packs do I have? I have a Jack Marin that I just make sure you I do not touch the Jack Marin. Do not touch Jack Marin. That is the, uh, that's the big thing. Nerlens, we got two players there at least. Adding to our card total, I guess, but it's not really helping our team. It's really not helping our team. Another two players. We got Jaron Jackson Jr. and we got Gordon Hayward. Maybe they might have an agenda challenge at some stage. Especially, actually, agenda challenges could be huge at the start of next season when people are stupidly trying to stay stay max level when you, you they don't realize that there's going to be a thousand XP for nothing later on in the year or in the season. So, yeah, we've opened up everything except for the Jack Marin who we're trying to keep and badge packs. So, we sold this Smush Parker and we bought this Smush Parker. So, in the end, I think we bought the other Smush Parker for 18k. We didn't make that much of a loss on it. But in at the point guard position, I never thought I'd be saying this. Smush Parker is my starting point guard. So we've got E, we've got Dina Raja, we've got Sean Marion now in the squad. And Smush Parker. Smush Parker. 
you know what? I'm going to go and play some TTR, a couple of games of TTR online in this video. And we're going to be using the new players that we got. So we got Sean Marion. We're going to be playing Kyle Anderson, who's a god. And Smush Parker. Smush Parker. Who would have ever thought it? Like, if you had to ask me yesterday, who is my, who was going to be my point guard in my team? I think I could have named, I think it would have taken me a thousand guesses for me to have guessed that my starting point guard today would be Smush Parker. And there's not even a, th there may not even be a thousand people to have played the point guard position in the NBA this, oh, I've been talking nonsense and I'm like, this century, there probably isn't a thousand people. And it would have still taken me a thousand guesses because of 2K just giving random people um, cards. It would have still taken me a thousand guesses to guess Smush Parker. Ooh, wow, Curry in the backcourt. Smart decision. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a foul, that's a really smart foul. Oh no. Dude's got Mikhail and Kawhi. I just saw Westbrook, I was like, oh yeah, not worried about Westbrook. I'm like, yeah, I'm I should be worried about Kawhi. Oh, did he just try to pro one me with Mikhail? He's gonna curry, he's gonna curry, he's gonna curry. We're there. Oh, it's a foul. Oh, if he'd, I thought he was gonna curry there. If he actually curry slid instead of, I think, I'm pretty sure he accidentally did that, on, did that like side dribble animation. Like, if he had a curry slid instead, it was legitimately a, uh, a steal right there. It was a pluck. Wide open. Chicken man, let's go. Like Trey Burke base. He's legit, he's literally like mini T-Mike. He has mini T-Mac, but he can curry slide. Like, when we're talking about tier list, the guy's probably an A-tier player. Oh, did I? Oh, good shot, man. I did not think you were going to take that. Like, some people are hesitant to shoot with Westbrook. He was not hesitant at all there. Good shot. Oh, it's open. And it's a bad release. But Marion's... Ball lands anywhere but there. It's mine. Literally. It has the entire court to land, and it land the one spot it lands. It's the one spot we're not there for the board. Oh, green that. Let's go, Marion. We're starting to get the hang of his release. You definitely, it's definitely a release. You have to get the hang of Sean Marion's. I'll be the first to admit that. He's going nowhere. We're there. Ghost contest. Big board, big board, big board. We run. Kyle Anderson's a god. Sorry, if you haven't got Kyle Anderson yet, try him out. He's like 25k for an Amethyst. Like, I still don't even think it matters at 25k for an Amethyst. I still think he's good value for that. I still think he's good value at 25k. Open. And that's a green there for Smush Parker. I'm telling you, this TTO trio is nice. Because, like, he got Marion Clamp God. Oh, we left him. Give him the dunk, give him the dunk, give him the dunk. No point, give him a three there. When you're caught out of position in this game, someone can pretty much get a three whenever they want, so. I'd rather, in them situations, just give up the two. When you're caught out of position, we might as well just guard everyone on the, at the three-point line. Probably gonna touch down to Kawhi. No, we didn't. He should've just touched down to Kawhi. Curry, please. Oh, he should've went to Kawhi. We're there, good defense. Good defense. That's great defense. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that being a not very contested layup, but it is what it is. Pro one, is it? He's got in terms of his uh, through the legs. Oh, no, he caught me on that one. I tried to crab him. I tried to crab him. It did not work out well. He's read that to perfection. Uh, he's, re he's reading that. I'm actually just not going to curry slide next time. Um, oh, I, I reckon I can get an open dunk like next time I give the ball so much Parker. Or I can just go and jam it through him with Sean Marion. I don't know if you can count that as being dunked on or dunked through right there by that guy. Chase down. Let's go, Smush Parker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bad release. But it doesn't matter. Green or white, it does not matter for Mr. Smush Parker. He may have been a below average point guard in his time, but you better believe he's an above average player in this 2K game. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Someone just come up. Someone come up and get the ball. I don't care who it is. 
Okay, we need a little bit of a head start because his only drill move is the Pro 3. There we go. Smush. Let's open. Smush Parker. Bad release. Big board, big board, big board. Kyle Anderson so good. I just, his overall game, there's nothing he does wrong. Like, I get it, he's a 90 overall ruby. That doesn't matter. Like, he's got half clamps. The guy does nothing wrong. Unlucky Smush Parker. Also, I mentioned that in my gameplay. Smush Parker's, like, defense is ridiculous on this gen. Like the, like, the animations he gets playing lanes are the best I've seen in this game so far this year. Like, nobody in this game has plays lanes like Smush Parker. You gonna jump, is he? Yeah, we're there. That's a bad release. That's a good shot. Bad release. Oh, bad shot there. And it, it just it just doesn't matter. It, it it literally it literally doesn't matter. This guy. It literally doesn't matter. This guy's too good. This guy's too good. I'm sorry. He's just too good. Like, can you can you deny that this guy is not on next gen top? Four at that position. Current gen, you know what? Let's go! Let's go! Alright, we might have to reset up. We might have to reset up here. Because I don't know if we've got three or four ball drops. I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to drop three. Because we're going to have to reset up, up after three now. Because I'm not going to risk it because we need... I do want to get Terry Cummings. I do want to get a free pink diamond card here. So we're going to play another game of this. Come on! I need to get him this time. I need to get him this time. Get past there. Get past those two. We've stayed on that right side. We're in decent-ish position here. Just bounce. Stay kind of... Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Bounce left. No. It's out of position. No, no. Go down. Go down. Let's go. No! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going back down the middle. It's going down the middle. We're fine. We're all good. It's not going to hit that. It's hit, the first. it's hit the bad spot. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, again, I don't know if I have another ball drop, so we close up. And if you guys don't know what I'm doing now, what I'm doing is the board doesn't reset when you close up. So if you go and close up, it means that your next game, you're still going to have the same board. He's obviously, I do want Terry Cummings for the squad. He's there for the 2K for free team. He's a new player, and he is just somebody that we don't have yet, and he's a completely free card. So for me especially, I really do want Terry Cummings. So, um, yeah, that is basically um, what we are doing. So, I just want to check, was that a smart or a non-smart decision? There we go. It was game eight. That was a smart decision. Because if we had to drop that last ball and missed Terry Cummings, Terry Cummings has vanished. Terry Cummings, we can't... Oh, no, we, we just can't lose in our game. We're good. We've only, Like, if we lose, we get one ball dropped and we have to quit. Because at least it means... It means Terry Cummings will be there next time we go all the way on. So we've won, we've won last game, and I mean, didn't we beat that dude with Kawhi and uh, Mikhail? Guys, uh, guy obviously is a sweat if he's there with Mikhail, but doesn't matter. Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Mikhail, like it doesn't even matter. You could have freaking Finals MVP 2019 Kawhi Leonard. You can have a freaking Dark Matter Kawhi Leonard. Scotty Pippen in his prime. It doesn't matter. Nobody is guarding Smush Parker on next gen. Nobody is guarding Smush Parker. It's like if you gave Trey... Offensively, he's like if you give Tracy McGrady the curry slide. He's literally like if you gave T-Mac the curry slide. Because nobody on next gen is using T-Mac for anything except shooting the ball. Okay, he's got, he's got the dentist. Good defense. You know what? That's just a good finish. Dentist OP. Dentist OP is the only way I can say it. And that's a bump. Give him the dunk. I'll, I'll live with it. We're down 4 0. We're fine. We kind of need a win here, so. Dude's got Mikhail as well. What's up with everybody having Mikhail? Like, that's not an easy card to get. Every, like, I'd say 80% of the people I've played today have Kevin Mikhail. He's going to expect a curry, and we get the wide open. We deserve that. If you meant the whites you made the last game, we deserve that one there. Shoot that. Stick God. Good shot. Good shot. You know what? Nothing cheesy about that. Just a beast. Just an absolute beast. And he read my first curry slide. We just missed time the second one. Or we missed time the release on the second one, so.
Got him. Green that, please. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That, like, this is my fault. It's completely my fault that we've, uh, we've missed all these shots. Like, again, we've had two wide open threes. We missed both of them. Like, there's nothing else that I can say other than I just messed up. And this is a stick dude. Stick god as well, so. Just need to keep an eye on him fading. Great defense, Marion. Let's go. A win here would be nice, but... I mean, it's not to be expected. He's not... Like, this dude's not gonna miss when he's wide open. I'm telling you, if you guys know what you're doing with the stick, it's GG's. It's open. And it's a big white. Let's go. Like, again, these stick gods. I hope... I genuinely hope to take a stick aiming next year. It's green. Nothing we can do. Oh, he blew it! There's, um, I hope to take it out next year, but like it is a skill. It is definitely a skill. And this guy, in fairness, this guy has adapted to it better than I have. So anyone saying stick aiming doesn't take any skill, just stick aim yourself. It trust me, it does take skill. He's way better than me. I just hope that I just do hope they take it out again. Because it's basically unguardable against somebody who knows what they're doing. What? That's open. Oh my god, we accidentally shot a fade. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. We're turning back the clock to a pre-patch right there, hitting the fade. Okay, he's had a couple of bad releases in a row. Okay, he's gonna curry. He's gonna curry. No, he didn't curry. Did that animation? It's a rare one. Good defense. That's good defense, because we gotta on all we gotta on this. Oh, so much Parker jammed on. That's fine. We're still in this game. Still more than in this game, like. Let's open. That's his shot. It's a 44? Alright, I don't know where that contest came from. I don't know where that was a 44% contest, but we need to be better than this. We need to be better than this, especially with this trio. With our new uh, with our trio of newly evolved players. And uh these are all Evo players as well. And um yeah, actually, these are all three basically new players because we've never used Evo Kyle Anderson before. Steal. Catch the ball, Marion. Oh my god, you just... Nothing to do with the card. This game is flawed. Bad thing, BS will always happen in sports games. Difference is... Oh my god, it's BS again. That's just BS again. Like, that's, that's the thing. Like, sports... This game's not bad. I enjoy playing it, but it doesn't mean that this game isn't inc still not incredibly frustrating. Like, it's still a sports game at the end of the day. It's still 2K. And that's a chase. That's a nice chase down, but it's a go also a goal tent. Good shot there, though. Like, literally, I was... I don't... He went through under the basket, which is a goal tent from Kevin McHale. As far as I'm aware, anyway. He's gonna jump. Give me that. Green, good shot. I don't know where the 21% contest was from there, but we basically need to just have a couple of good possessions here. Just no, just no BS here. Again, stopping a score, and we're right back in this. He's gonna go to, he's gonna go to Terry. We're there. Dunked it. He's got it. Yep. No, we can do. That's good offense. It's just unfortunate that like when this game was close, we just got hit with some BS. Got him. Green that, please. Go or. I thought that was going to be a ghost, but um, apparently not. Good defense. Get that board. Go get it. Go get it. That's fine. Catch the ball. Oh, that's just BS again. Like four times he's thrown the ball off my players and they just haven't caught the ball. But at the end of the day, he's green more, so I do reckon like it would be a, it would be harsh on him to say that he didn't deserve, he isn't deserving of his lead right here. But there have been definite situations like that's a ghost contest. That's so late. Like, and he's gonna hit green it. Oh, he blew it. He blew it. This guy's missed too much. What? Like, I'm so I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Again, this guy. I've been all over the place shooting wise, but still, still like. Oh. <laughs> all right. Sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta you just gotta say it's just not your game. Sometimes you just gotta laugh and say it's not your game. That uh the anything that the algo is just against you. Sometimes you just gotta laugh. And this is one of those games. Good shot. Let's go. 
It's fine that we can still, even a loss here, we still have them the next time we get up to those final boards. We still have the Terry Cummings card. But like this is, this is without question one of those games where you literally just have to laugh and be like, there is an algorithm in this game. Like there are so many lucky animations and it's just unfortunate that er sometimes every animation goes against you in a game. And that's the, uh, <laughs> like, like look, another one, another one. I look, that's just the reality of sports games, is that animate, they're so animation based, and it's a hell of a lot of the games based on uh, whether an animation goes your way or not. Oh man, I, like it's, it's just funny. It is just funny how much I got screwed there by the CP, by the AI, but, uh, not even by the AI, but it's the algo, but. You know what, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's, uh, it's a video game at the end of the day. It is not that serious. All right, we got one drop before we have to uh, reset up. So, come on, just get him in this ball drop. Get him in this ball drop, we're good. We're in bad positioning. Oh, we're, not, we're in actually not bad positioning. We're in really bad position. We're not very, very highly unlikely that we hit it here. Go down the middle, 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 come on, let's go. We're in very bad position, we need to get into the middle. We're actually not in awful position right here. Stay hugging that right side. We're in really good position here. I reckon 50-50 from here. No, we've missed it. We've missed it. Get down the middle. Get down the middle again. Get down the middle again. Okay, we're fine. Just get past that first one, and then we're in really good. Like, if it goes past the first one, it's probably going to hit the second one and hit the first one. You know what? It's 500, so that's not actually a bad thing to get. 100. All right. All right. Um, right. We're closing up. Because again, I am not missing out on Terry Cummings for my squad. I am not missing out. I would like to have gotten Terry Cummings for my 2k for free squad. But not the biggest deal in the world that we don't get him. But I'm still going to... Uh, I'm still going to be hopefully able to get him. I'm probably not going to go for Byron Beck. Actually, I'm probably going to go and play till Finley. Maybe play at like 650 or something. I'm probably going to get Byron Beck in that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the way our squad's looking right now. I mean, do I get rid of Rudy Fernandez? I really like Rudy Fernandez. I'm getting rid of him. Because I don't think he's that much different than Kyle. I really like Kyle Anderson. In a mad turn of events, we are getting rid of Rudy Fernandez from the squad. Yeah, Rudy's lost his spot, and it's a close one. Like it's a, it's a very, very close one. It's been a tough, it's been a tough few weeks for Rudy Fernandez. He's been uh, in and out of the squad. He's a beast, an absolute god tier player, who has been in our squad for next to the entirety of season four. But because we're trying to build up to a half a million going into season five, Rudy Fernandez has been is the next casualty for the squad. I think I prefer Kyle Anderson for what he's needed for. What is 35k? When did he get so cheap? I mean, I don't want to sell him for that price. I can sell Anderson for that price. Anderson makes way better defense. Oh, I'm I'm not sure. Leave in the comments what I should do, but I'm not sure if I want to keep Kyle Anderson or I want to keep Rudy Fernandez in the squad. It's like, I don't think he's worth like he's. Not worth selling a 31k. He's not good. He's not worth selling a 31k. Like, I'd rather just have him. I'd rather have him over Jack. Actually, I'd rather have him over Jack Marin. Be smart, Mick. Be smart. Rudy Fernandez, you're going back to the collection. Jack Marin, you're great. If we're playing current gen, Jack Marin, you're in our team in a heartbeat. But unfortunately, we play on next gen. Yeah, he's in there for Jack Marin. Yeah, the squad's looking better. Because Anderson's better than Jack Marin. I'm saying on next gen. I'm saying that right now. So yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is our squad. Smush Parker, an absolute demon. That last game of TTO, I, I can't even just describe what happened in that game. It was just funny. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.